Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, yesterday was Valentine's Day. I hope you shared especially the love of God. Now, in the world, they celebrate things. It doesn't mean we are strangers to do celebrations. But you see, we take advantage to bring forth truth. Jesus said, we are the light of the world. So we are in this world to give them light. So as, as they celebrate any activity in the world, it's our job to give them light. And that's why as God's children, we manifest the love of God. Now manifesting the love of God is not just to tell people about the love of God. To manifest it means, one, it's working in you. So what is working in you, you show to them and then let them know that this same thing that's working in you can work in their lives praise god thank you holy spirit before we go into today's broadcast one of the ways god is displaying and manifesting his love in your own life is what he has said that he takes responsibility of giving to you your daily bread and i love said the word of god is complete these words came out of the mouth of jesus meaning it is true it's the heart of god it's the will of god and it's available for you jesus said when you pray say this give us this day our daily bread now you can't be more righteous than jesus if jesus said it's called daily bread then it means you have a role to play in requesting for it now someone may think you know you know there are people whose mind is so locked up with the wrong ideas and thoughts now for example you say you know jesus said give us this day our daily bread and all you can think about is money and 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 uh, material things is much more than that though it includes that praise god it includes material things it includes money it includes food but it's much more than that david lets us know that he daily loads us with benefits now because of the word bread there you all you can think about is eat but bread simply means provision see that everything that will be for your well-being everything that will make you happy now sometimes the things that will make you happy have to be hard they may not look like things that will make you happy today you know for example you you want, there are certain kind of food or drugs that they are not so sweet they are not so it's not something you want to just enjoy they are bitter but now you need that for that day to give you health praise god yeah that's the truth so these confessions or these, these demands we make of the Lord every day, just like Jesus said. You know, someone may just be thinking, is it necessary to be saying it every day? It's a training. The Holy Ghost is training you. So, see, it's not foolishness when we come every day on this world and say, oh, let's make our demands for the Lord today. It's not foolishness. It's training your mind. Even God said to Joshua, that also includes you. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night. Now, we're only doing this in the mornings. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, listen. It's a retraining of your mind. The Holy Ghost is teaching your mind how to depend on God. It starts by saying, it starts by saying now speaking comes from your saying so don't get trapped in only speaking and not saying see that now thank you lord jesus so when we make this demand every day 
and, and, and I want you to, I'm taking time to share this with you because it's so important. I want you to mean it with every one of your being and then say it with expectation. And after you have said it, believe that what you have said will come to pass and you shall have what you have said. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So are you ready to make demand for your daily bread? Now, this also means, you know, you know, David outlined these things. He forgives your iniquity. He heals your body. He fills your mouth with good things so that your youth will be renewed with ego. He redeems your life from destruction. So anything that's going to bring about destruction from the food you eat to accidents happening on the way. Anything that's going to cause destruction for your life today, that thing is broken. He redeems your life from it. He, he fills your mouth with good things so that your youth be renewed. With he crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. Now these are things God, see his, his, his existence releases to you on a daily basis. And Jesus comes and says, pray like this. Give us this day our daily I love the framing of that statement. Give us this day. So it means your daily bread is giving. He didn't say help us find this day. He says give us this day. It means your daily bread is giving. Now, having this understanding that your daily bread is giving. So you look onto the giver so that you can receive from him. All right, cool. Sure. So give us this day. So the request is not for the month, it's not for the week, it's for the day. Give us this day. Ah, ah. So I'm not begging, trying to get God to give me something. I'm actually making a demand for what both of us understand belongs to me. So the, 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 the insertion of that word, ah, he, Jesus could have just said, give us this day daily bread. It would have sounded wonderful. But I believe Jesus is trying to communicate, knowing I could bread at the bush. And I've been sharing these things with you. Every word that came out of the mouth of Jesus was specifically picked by the Holy Spirit. I pray we all get to that level. Where whatever comes out of our mouth, whether we're joking, whether we're preaching, talking, whatever it is, every word coming out of our mouth, we have so trained ourselves that those words are given by the Holy Spirit. Jesus himself said it. I received command from the Lord. John chapter 12, verse 50, 49 and 50. I received command from the Lord concerning what I will say and what I will speak. So I, I can't even speak of my own authority. I can't speak by myself. So when, when, when Jesus was speaking those words, they were specific words given to him by the Holy Spirit. So when he said, Ah, daily bread the holy ghost knows that this is a settled matter from before the world began that god takes responsibility of taking care of you it is his responsibility listen to me somebody may tell you hey if you don't work let them stop lying to you stop stop opening yourself to lies before all of them were born god finished his work Anything that is not inconsistent with the work that God has finished. Reject it. Reject it. It's not even a call to be lazy. Brothers and sisters, there's so much work to do. Looking for daily bread by yourself is a great distraction from the purpose of God for your life. If you've never seen that, you know, some people say, oh, you, you, you better go out there and look for work because you need to feed yourself, you need to feed your family, you need to take care of bills, you need to take care of them. Hey, that is the most useless life to live. The most useless life to live. If you're working because you need to take care of yourself, if you're working because you need to pay your children's school fees, if you're working because it's the most useless life to live before God, and I tell you the truth, I lie not. 
the worst life to live because see your life becomes under the control of the devil i'm telling you the you are completely under the control of the devil it limits how god can use you no no the holy spirit that was there when god was creating all things I beg of you, listen to what I'm sharing with you. Even if you don't understand it today, you will get to understand it in the name of Jesus. Listen to God. Listen to what the Holy Ghost is saying. Jesus wasn't speaking those words anyhow. He was speaking exactly the mind of the father when he created all things so the holy spirit acknowledged that you have daily bread with the father remember the prayer was addressed to our father who is in heaven right mm -hmm. so he says give us this day Ah, I come and say, Abaya. I've got, I've got daily bread to receive from my father. Ah, give us this day. So I'm looking at today, 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 today. Ah, Anikamaya. Ah. Now I look at the father, and the Holy Spirit is bearing witness that there is according to the father's plan when he created all things it is his responsibility to give you daily bread so the father has already signed and apportioned every day's portion for you ha halama subre de niskinum bangangre te feina pukusei kaliya that the children of God will come to that place of glory and understand the manifestation that Jesus left for you to understand and walk in. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. So Jesus wasn't playing with words. Give us this day. Ah! <laughs> it's not we're not begging we're not trying to walk ourselves so that we qualify to receive it brothers and sisters before you were even born your portion has been allotted so god is saying to you today make demand for it make demand for it i have received many testimonies now, now now you can sit down there and say eh, must you say it every day there, there are people who are committed to this and i've been receiving testimonies and testimonies say pastor you know i i do this every day and truly speaking in the last six months in the last one year in the last few weeks i've just noticed that i've stopped running dry for some reason i'm always on top yes let the doubters continue doubting but god had have exposed to us by command a secret to eternal life so what i need you to do now i'm taking my time today to talk on this because it's so important what i'm leading you to do is so important to the heart of god If he commanded us to pray like this, then he is under authority to bring it to pass exactly the way he meant it and he is doing it. So he says, give us this day our daily bread. So it's my daily bread. Mm -hmm. My name is written on it. Angels know that I have daily bread. It's like you going to the bank where you know you have your money. You have saved your money. You have deposited money there. You have um, given people the account number to deposit. You go to the bank. You don't go pleading and saying, please, can you guys please help me to get some money? I would say, no. He said, give me my money. They check your balance. 
oh yeah, you have, you can withdraw this amount of money. Because it's your money. It's the same mentality Jesus wants us to exhibit towards the Father when it concerns things like this. Father, I receive my daily bread today. Are you ready? I'm, I, I want you to begin, not just for today. This should be your lifestyle. Whether, whether, whether you do it with us or you do it alone, just remember, I've got daily bread to receive on a daily basis. I'm going to walk my mind to be conscious of it. I'm going to talk it to all the angels. You see, that's the thing with people don't know. There are angels involved in this matter. And the angels learn our ways. Ignorance can be your destruction even though those things have been provided for. The fact that they have been provided for doesn't mean you will enjoy it. But when every angel around know that you understand what is yours and you know how to receive it and you know how to ask for it that they begin to adjust to your service when, when you start walking out people think angels know everything no they don't know everything angels only obey instructions and commands given to them so they have been sent to work for you they have been sent to assist you in getting things done that's what they have been sent to do and they not all ministries be sent for to um, assist those who are heirs of salvation they are here for your benefit but then you who are you what have you shown them it's like you're employed to work with someone you don't just get to that place and start showing professionalism you learn his ways you learn the ways of the person. You were brought here to serve this person, not to teach him. You can make your suggestions on how to make your work better, but you must understand and learn his ways. And that's what the angels do, they learn your ways. So if there is no consistency in your life, then they walk with in a haphazard manner. But if there is consistency in your life, you are going to see that even the supernatural activities that take place in your life, there is a consistency to it. Are you ready right now? Because I want us to make a demand today and I want to hear testimonies of miracles happening in your life. Why? Because these words are true. Jesus said we should make this demand. The angels are waiting to hear you. So are you ready? Join your faith with me right now. There's so much faith in the atmosphere right now. Say, Father, I demand today my daily bread. And I receive it right now all that I need to make today a great day, I receive in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Have it. Receive it. Jesus said, when you pray, whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive it and you shall have it. We have desired our daily bread. It's simpler to know that is ours. So this appeal is an appeal to the administration in heaven. Give me what is mine. Praise <laughs> God. See how easy it is. Now watch and see the manifestation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, thank you for the angels that you have sent to work with us. And today, as we have declared and we have made demands, there is a quick walk taking place in the life of everyone that have made this demand right now. And we begin to see results in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. And incidentally, my time is up. Remember, we are talking about the glory of Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.